Let's get you a live look at downtown Grand Rapids tonight on this sunny Wednesday evening. Many of us wondering if we'll see the rain again. Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca is keeping an eye on the chances that we're expecting this weekend. And it is looking pretty good, especially on Sunday. Welcome change of pace, not just for farmers and lawns, but also for air quality. I want to show you what's going on in portions of the country. This is New York right now, and they're seeing abysmally low air quality alerts. All that smoke pouring in from wildfires in Canada. That's a live look right there. And looking at the current air quality index across the entire Northeast and into the Great Lakes, you can see that places like New York are experiencing the worst conditions in terms of air quality but some of it really does spill over into northern Indiana and places like the east side of West Michigan into the east side of the state. By far, West Michigan is lucking out compared to almost everyone here, but we're still sharing in some of the smoke. You can see the plume is vast, and here's the cluster of fires that's producing all of that smoke. It doesn't really take too much to create a big problem for several states across the country. So when is that going to change? Well, it's really going to change when we can start to see our weather systems move again. We have a stuck weather pattern, and that blocking pattern means it's very hard for us to get systems through like we usually do. So typically we see systems move in from west to the east and days like today, it's quiet, it's dry, usually a slam dunk day. Just the timing, the fact that we've been seeing so many of these in a row has become a problem. So we continue to see quiet, dry conditions over West Michigan tonight. It really is a beautiful afternoon to evening. We're not expecting rain for West Michigan, just some gusty conditions close to the lakeshore. Temperatures are sitting in the 70s right now, some 60s near Lake Michigan. And it is windier, especially the closer to Lake Michigan you go. This also includes most of Allegan County and now stretching into Van Buren and Kalamazoo County. The wind is creating some strong currents out at Lake Michigan. So if you're planning on heading out to Lake Michigan, just know that the currents are strong and the water is very cold. Not good for swimming today. Hourly planner, by the time we get to 10 o'clock, 64 degrees with still a little bit of smoke aloft. Your two day forecast is fantastic. 76 for Thursday, 78 for Friday, partly sunny and dry each day. Days that we would absolutely love if we weren't kind of hoping for the rain. But again, if we look at our rainfall future cast, we stay completely dry for the next two days. It's not until the weekend that we start to see some big changes. So here's what we're tracking. Stuck pattern gets unstuck Saturday. Rain is most likely Sunday. And unfortunately, the long-term trend still leans us dry. Still from about Sunday to Tuesday, very good chance of picking up at least a half an inch of rain, if not a bit more. Here's the eight-day forecast for you. Most of the days are quite comfortable. Saturday, 83 degrees before a chance of showers. And next week, a chance of showers early with some 80s to follow.